Okay, okay. Hi, this is Frank Carmody. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at um, uh, Joomla 3 and how to install, how to get a demo site and how to install a template onto that demo site to get started. Okay, so we're here at Joomla.org. We're going to go ahead and click Demo. Okay, and this is right here off the bat. It's very, very, very simple. It's one form on the side here. This sign up for a free 30-day Joomla demo. Um, at that point, you know, after your 30 days, you can go ahead. There's a, a couple of really great extensions to back up the entire site and move it to different hosting if you want to move it to different hosting. It is pretty expensive hosting that we're on on, on this, uh, I think it's called Cloud Access or something like that. So uh, it's a $19.99 uh, a month, but it looks like pretty solid hosting. So if it's a business site, that might not be that much. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and fill out this form. I already did so. Uh, once you click Launch Joomla, you get a message. Uh, saying that it's going to send you a, um, a link via email. Okay, so let's take a look at my email here. Basically, they send you they send you a, um, an email with this uh, this link in it. You click it. Basically, that activates your site, and then they send you a second email. Okay, now this second email you should save. Okay, so this has all of the pertinent information for your site, and this is standard. Whenever you sign up for hosting, you get this kind of all-in-one sign-up email that has everything you need to know. Okay, so here we go. I signed up for my site, um, and if we scroll down here, um, notice that basically they give you two kinds of URLs here. They give you your real URL, so that's the that's the cloudaccess.net subdomain that they gave you when you signed up. But until that happens. Basically, you can get to it, um, and when I mean say to that happens until the DNS propagates for that particular subdomain, you can get to it by going to this other um, uh, URL. Okay, so um, let's go ahead. We're going to see if this subdomain is already set up because uh, it's been a few minutes already. Okay, so it is. So here it is. Your Joomlot site hosted on cloudaccess.net. You'll notice this. This is my subdomain. Okay, so let's go down, and we are going to get to the actually the administrative side of this because our goal here is to get our template installed. So that's the very first thing. Everything's going to be based upon the template that you choose. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, install that template. Now, notice it assigned me a, a temporary password, which I, of course, will change as soon as possible, so don't worry about that. Uh, <laughs> so we have our, uh, our uh, username, our password, okay, which will get changed immediately after this video. Uh, and then we're going to log in. Okay, so here's our Joomla 3.1 uh, uh, system, and it looks a lot the same as 2.5. Uh, of course, everything's a little bit newer as usual. Um, but what we're going to do is we're just going to install a new uh, a new template. Okay, so I've already chosen a template. Let me show you the how I chose that template. Okay, uh, so I actually went to um, to uh, Rocket Theme. Rocket Theme is one of the is a developer of templates. Mainly, what I wanted to do is I wanted to use what's called the Gantry framework. Okay, so there's there are many different frameworks in Joomla at this point. Um, and what a framework does for you is it get you gets you a lot of extra stuff um, in Joomla. It's just like a very kicked up version of a of a um, of a theme. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is we went to Rocket Theme. We went to Joomla. We went to Joomla Downloads, and then we went to Free. Okay, and because uh, because Joomla three has just come out, there aren't a lot of Joomla three uh, templates out there, um, and that's just something that you go through every time there's a new Joomla released. You know, for a while, uh, there's just nothing uh, available really. Um, so what we got here is we're going to use this Afterburner 2. Now Afterburner 2 I really like. Basically it uses the Gantry framework but a lot of the extra stuff has been stripped out so it means you're going to get faster load times and the, the website's going to be faster in general. It's responsive which means it will automatically uh, conform to whatever device you're on. Okay so I went ahead and downloaded. I clicked on Afterburner 2. I went to the download link right here. Uh, notice that I'm getting the bundle. Okay, so the bundle means that you're going to get the Gantry framework in with the template. Okay, you also have the option if you already installed the Gantry framework to do the standalone template. I don't suggest that. There's just too many different variables, uh, meaning that you could get a Gantry framework that's wrong for the template. The template could be wrong for the Joomla uh, version. So it's better just to go with, hey, it says that it's for Joomla 3. Great. It's a bundle. That means it comes with everything I need. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. All right, so I went ahead and downloaded it already. 
Okay, so that's in my download directory. Now I'm going to go ahead and install it in Joomla. All right, so now I'm back. I'm in my Joomla um, uh, administration back end. I'm just going to go to extensions, and the extension manager in Joomla is just fantastic. So we just go to extension manager, easy as pie. We go to browse. We're going to go to uh, downloads, and we're going to find this Afterburner 2 bundle. Okay, we're going to click open, and we're going to click upload and install. Okay, so now every it's sending that zip file back up to the website, and notice we get a lot of green checks, and that's exactly what we're looking for. So it so it installed the Gantry library, Gantry components, Gantry system plugin, Afterburner template installation was successful, and then this ROK uh, stuff that's from Rocket Theme, okay, which is great. Okay, so now let's go ahead and <clears throat> we're actually we actually have to go back in and now all this stuff has been installed, right? But what happens in Joomla and what a, a novice users don't really get at first is that when things get installed, they don't get turned on. So you can install something, but it's not activated yet, right? It's not being used in your website. So you actually have to go in. So for example, you know, it gave this Gantry system plugin was installed, but let's go take a look in the plugin manager. So under extensions, this is where all your stuff that you install, where you're going to handle all that stuff. So we go to plugin manager. And notice that if we go down, this may or may not have uh, uh, have shown that Gantry was actually turned on. So let's go in my plugin manager. I'm going to go ahead and say show all. Okay, then we're going to scroll down. I actually do a lot of find, so I go Control F and I go Gantry if I want to find something. Okay, so it did actually it turned it on, which is great. Okay, so it looks like when the installer came on now in uh, version three it can actually turn those on right at the same time which is great okay so we're gonna go back into our extensions we're gonna go to our uh, template manager okay now what we have here is that um, we have noticed that these stars right here okay so basically we have Isis if we so we went to extensions template manager and now this is where we control how our site is going to display these templates so currently the Isis template is being displayed on the administrator site so that's where we're in now and this protostar template is the default for the main site so if I go to my home state home page right now this is the protostar template right here okay so watch what happens here in my in my template manager if I just click this default button next to the afterburner 2 template so I click that default button, the button the default column. Notice how that changed. So now my Afterburner 2 is the default template. Now if I go to the home page and I go ahead and reload that, notice that now my home page says af is the Afterburner 2 template. Okay. So now what I get here is that uh, Afterburner 2 is now installed, which is great. Okay. All right, guys. So that so that is. Uh, so that is how you uh, get your demo site and initially install your template. So uh, let's go ahead and do that and good luck and we'll see you on part two.